All right, this is just a quick video to let you know how you can set up your sources per file type at the buffer level for NVIM comp. The first thing that you want to do is check to see where things are coming from. So you might have NVIM comp set up and everything's looking good. But when you come in here, you're wondering where is this text coming from? What is this text? because a lot of things might say that they're text and you're not sure where they are coming from. This would be for any file type that you get into. So you're at the top of this Lua file here and you started typing. You see you have these texts in here. You see variable, but you're really not sure where that's coming from. You can take a good guess, but you're not completely sure. Well, the first thing that you can do to remedy that is to make sure that you have LSP kind installed. And then what you want to do is take a look at adding a format section. And I have it commented out here, so I was able to show you that you just see the word text there. But if we go ahead and we uncomment, you can see that I've added these icons for LSP kind. You can also put text in there. These things should give you a pretty good idea when you're looking at your completion sources in your P menu or completion menu, what things are. So now if I go over here, now you can see that this is coming from spelling but this is coming from a buffer. I like the little buffer icon there. And you can see these are snippets, but these are my snippets that I've loaded in. But you'll also see snippets from the LSP. So if we went down here and here's a snippet that's from the LSP and I'm using the little cloud and that's different from my own snippet. So you can tell this snippet's from my own thing, and this snippet is from LSP. I'm using the little cloud icon from Nerd Fonts. Finally, what you can do is create a file type plugin in your runtime. So after FT plugin markdown Lua, and you can see here that I'm setting my sources to be v snip spell buffer and then path and then i'm turning off ghost text for markdown it's just too much going on when you do that the order of the sources sets their priority in the completion menu and you can set these different for each particular file type and so when you look at my default here this is what you get but here for Markdown, I don't want a lot of that stuff. I just want to have my Markdown snippets, spelling, buffer, and path. And I don't want ghost text. And you can make these different for each file type. So for instance, for Toml, I've set it up where all I want is crates and buffer. And I don't want the other stuff. And then for, say, JavaScript... I want the LSP tree sitter, my snips that I'm using through vSnip, buffer, and then path. And that's all you have to do. Now, this is all documented, but sometimes you need to connect the dots. So that's two things to do. One is to add a little bit of context to your P menu, your completion menu, so that not everything just says text next to it, or it says variable, but where's that coming from? Is that from tree sitter? Is that from NVIM Lua? Or is that from NVIM LSP? Now I'll know which one it's coming from. Is it the LSP? You know, is it tree sitter? What's it coming from? You can see that we have the after FTP plugin, JavaScript Lua, Markdown Lua, Tama Lua, and then I have things set up with completion init. You can set these up however you like. 
just make sure that uh, you have things set up in the order that you want them for the different languages. The FT plugin for JavaScript gets run after the internal FT plugin for JavaScript. So make sure you set it up that way. All right, so hopefully that's helpful for when you're setting up NVim comp. Enjoy, the completion is really great. And thank you for watching, I appreciate it. See you next time.